We are going to use power series to compute this limit. We have the limit as x goes to 0, 1 minus cosine x over 1 plus x minus e to the x. We are not going to use L'Hopital's rule. We will use the power series expansion for cosine x and e to the x, centered at 0 because x is approaching to 0. This is how it goes. We will have equal to the limit as x goes to 0, and let's focus on the top first. We first have 1 minus, and now we have to remember what is the power series for cosine x. Let me open the parentheses first. Remember that cosine x is an even function, and then the first term for cosine x is 1, because you can also think about this as cosine 0 is 1. So let me put down the 1. And then for cosine, just like for sine, they are alternating. The next term, we will have minus, and then we will have x to the second power over 2 factorial. Okay, this is for cosine x. And then the next term, we will have plus x to the fourth power over 4 factorial, and then minus x to the sixth over 6 factorial, and so on. For cosine x, it's all the even power and then all the even factorial, and it's alternating. For sine x, it's all the odd versions. All right, let's look at the denominator now. 1 plus x and then minus this e to the x. Let me open the parentheses. For e to the x, it's just all the powers, the even and odd, and also all the factorials. Begin with 1, and then it's always adding. 1 plus x and then plus x squared over 2 factorial and then plus x to the third power over 3 factorial and so on. Okay, so now this is what we have and this is what we can do. Because on the top now, we can look at this as 1 minus 1. We can cancel it out, right? So this is the same as the limit. Let me just write it down here as x approaching to 0. On the top, this 1 minus 1 cancel out, but then be sure to distribute this negative into the parentheses. And we'll see, this is going to be plus x squared over 2 factorial, so let me write that down right here. And then the next term is minus x to the 4 over 4 factorial, and then plus x to the 6 over 6 factorial, and then the next term, technically, is minus, and so on. I wasn't sure how many terms I need to use for sine and cosine. I only put down the first four, and I think that should be enough. Sometimes if it's not, put on more terms. Anyways, let's look at the denominator. 1 minus 1, they cancel out. x minus x, they also cancel out. And then, distribute this minus into the parentheses, and so on, right? We will have minus x squared over 2 factorial to begin with, and then minus times that, minus x to the third power over 3 factorial, and then minus whatever after that. And this is what we have. And now what? Usually, after we see the cancellations, we just plug in 0 into all the x. But unfortunately, on the top, all these terms have an x. Likewise, all the terms on the bottom, they also have an x. If you plug in 0 into the top, we pretty much get a 0 on the top. Likewise, we'll end up with a 0 on the bottom. 0 over 0, that's no good. But here's the good thing. On the top, we have x squared, x4, x6, right? They all have x to the second power at least. So we can factor out the x to the second power. Likewise, for the bottom, x squared, x to the third power, and the next one should be x to the fourth power. I can also factor out the x to the second power and the x to the second powers will cancel each other out. So, this is how we are going to finish it. This is the limit as x goes to 0. And let me just show you guys the computation. Factor out the x. Square. On the top. So, we will end up with 1 over 2 factorial, and then minus x squared now, because we factor out the x squared already, over 4 factorial, and then plus x to the 4 over 6 factorial, and so on. Over, factor out the x squared, so we have x squared, and then the first term is negative 1 over 2 factorial, and then the next term is going to be negative, and then we have x to the first power, 
over three factorial and then so on right x square x square cancel each other out nicely now we see that for all these terms here they all have an x and likewise for the denominator this right here they have an x as well so when x is approaching zero we plug in zero into all these x they will become just zero so when we do that we will just end up on the top 1 over 2 factorial that's all and then for the denominator we will just have this negative 1 over 2 factorial the rest are just 0 and then the x squared will cancel out already of course right here we can just finish this on the top this is 1 over 2 and on the bottom this is negative 1 over 2 so at the end the answer is negative 1 and this is it